You talked about how the team sometimes need to be very patient and waiting for your chances, but uh, Erling also really needs to be patient sometimes when he's taking close care of the defenders so close and all, all this. Just how difficult is it to both be patient and not get frustrated, but also be ready and switched on when the chance is there? I think he is like that. I know Erling, the second goal that he scored, the transition that he did it, the team was high, they make a good build up. He travel runners from Phil, from Mateos, from him. I know it's just, but I said many times, it depends on the opponent, what they decide to do against us. In that moment, I know the space is minimal. I said many times, there's five in the box, three central defenders, people in front of central defenders. Pfft, surrounded for five or six to create the chances. Depends on his mates, how they move, how make the movements to make a spread all the structure defensive of the opponent's ATR box and have to have and of course the space is minor, the balls don't come and have to be, you know, patient. Yeah, I have to be like that. So it's the only only solution. If he disconnect if he should have been disconnect, for example, as games, could not have scored the first goal. Impossible. So spot stay there. Stay in the game. You're sooner or later your mate is going to help you to score. And just uh, how does he keep connected to the game when he's uh, he's not involved with the touches and stuff like this? What do you see in his play that? Uh... No, he has to be what happened. Read what are the spaces, especially defensively, be involved. Football is not just um, here to score goals. When you are involved in in your tasks to help the team and be aggressive in the first two actions, you are connected. Football is not offense is defense. Everything is related. It's was said many times. It's, I'm pretty convinced of that. You are aggressive, you are pay attention, your throw is defensive, you are there. These kind of things after with the ball you are better. You are this margin of seconds quicker, faster, wiser to take a right decision. And do you think also this is where he improves as he gets more uh, older and more experienced that he is uh, yeah, able to be connected but in this I, way? I said his average in score goals is quite quite impressive, I would say. The amount of goals he scored is because since yeah, of course, in every minute, there had to be moments that you are maybe disconnected. It's normal, but in general, always have been there. Yeah. Pep, just another one on Erling. Uh, in years gone by, he's kind of missed a few games. He's had niggles, he's had injuries. Um, Wednesday looked a good opportunity to maybe rest him against, you know, in one of the many European games you've got, but obviously you played him. Do you think he's got over that phase of, of sort of picking up niggly injuries? Do you sense he's a lot sort of more fit, a lot fitter and more durable this year? I had the feeling there's a season that he feels better, recover better and feels better. He's an incredible professional in that terms. He takes care really well. I had the feeling that he feels really, really, really good in that terms. Is that something you've worked on sort of over the summer? I mean, obviously, you'll have fitness programs for individual players. Is that something you've focused on, sort of getting that durability? Well, but he, he didn't have the Euro, unfortunately, for him and for Norway. But I would say that I have one month to have, you know, rest and make a good preparation, have incredible guys help him here and know what he needs, not just him, all of them, but especially him. And uh, yeah, he's focused more than ever on what he had to do every three days. And he feels, especially in the first season when I arrived after the game was so exhausted, he need time to recover, you know? And we cannot say it was bad, the first season scored a lot of goals, we won the travel, so it's not about that. But that the feeling that he feels, speak with the guys, no, I feel good, I feel good. Because of course, uh, without uh, Phil now is starting getting better without Oscar, the, the potential players can play in a striker, how good they move in the small spaces, how good they are in front of the goal. So Oscar is not here yet and Phil is getting better. So right now it's really, really important piece on, on our team. Hi, Pat. Um, in the past, when you've spoken about whether or not you want to sign contract extensions, you've said that one of the factors is whether the players are still responding. On Wednesday you said that at the moment you love the way that your team is playing in this early part of the season and I know there are other factors, your family, how you feel, but in terms of that one specific factor about whether the players are still responding after nine years, are you happy with that? It yeah, sounded like you were on Wednesday. A lot. I'm impressed. I never thought when I arrived after nine years and nine years even the next season still we are with this amount of consistency in our game and still create more than the opening, concede less than the opponent, so this this balance is so good and I saw again four or five actions, our backwards 
it was unbelievable good and so yeah so I, I could not be more thankful to these players that still defend what we want to try to do in the way they are doing so just in terms of that when it comes time to talk about your future just in terms of that one specific factor you haven't got any concerns that that you'll have to look at that and think well they're not responding anymore that it will be down to your personal choice your I never choice yeah I never had doubt about that about because I know I saw I said a month ago in this season when I said I see them training session every day and still they are alive they feel it you know they enjoy to come here to train and play the games everyone want to be involved we're having in, in that for a few teams as well, right? And not just here in England, I would say in Europe, a lot of injuries, you know, and everywhere. But we are just 15 players or 14 players plus Nico, you know, for the academy. And OK, we are in difficulty. We have lack of players to rotate, to give rest, so we have to take care more. And still they do it. They make a step forward. They have an incredible mentality for mo most of them. They have a just so strong, so competitive. And the tendency to relax, always have this concern: oh, win again, what, what's going to happen? You know, how drop when you win? I don't see. I don't see winning or losing. I'm not saying that perform well or bad. I don't see. That's fact that they are dropping. I think every, everyone push each other. They push me. I push my staff. They to me with ideas, with new things. The players, I push them. When I don't like, I tell them they accept it well because it's the benefit for the team. They accept well the compliment. They will accept well the compliment for the media, the criticism for the media. So they forget immediately, win or lose, on to next, what's next. And they're huge competitors. You have a group of players with incredible mentality, not talking about the skills, mentality wise, and they are, they are really, really good. Hey, Pep, just following on from that, without wanting to sound too cheeky, shouldn't they be like this, your players, because they're paid a lot of money? I mean, that's their job. Sorry? What you're describing there about no drop-offs and still hungry and very competitive and a top mentality, should they not be like this? Is this not why they're paid, this sort of money? So is that not the sort of base expectation anyway? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You never know when uh, by a player, and I think Cheeky would be surprised as well, hopefully our chairman as well. So I said many times, this is exceptional. Huh? This is not normal. I mean, generally, shouldn't all football players be like this? Because that's, they're paid a lot of money and it's their job, right? I mean, yeah. they wouldn't be top players without, so... Yeah, but they would play football with less money and get, get paid. They love what they do. Yeah. Is that so the they, 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 the they didn't become... Always I try in my, in my mind when I'm uh, in the training session. They didn't decide to football players or they were not in the street when they were young to make box-to-box -box exercises. I go to the gym. They decide because I want to play with the ball. That's why I began football. And they love it to do that. And of course, it's, a, it's absolutely get incredible way paid because generally the, way the people love that sport, as simple as that, no more, no more difficult to understand it. But they, they would do it anyway. They would do it anyway because they like it. That's for sure. And just next summer, with uh, Cheeky leaving, Viana coming in, and players like Kevin, Kyle, Bernardo, a bit older, you may leave, you may not. Is it a big summer for City? You have to get, because you've always said that you're, you're, you're only as good as your players. It could be quite a few players need replacing, or is it, is that exaggerating it a bit? Are you quite happy? You think even if those players sort of tailed off a bit, you've got enough? It's a good question for Ruo, Viana and Chiki, so about the, that. But I think every, every summer is uh, something, you know, had to be always, the club has to be ready. You pretend now everything is fine, everything, you know, young squad. And apparently there are two or three or four players knock the door, I want to leave. I don't play, I'm not happy here, my family didn't end up, blah, 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 whatever. So I want to leave. Better to be ready. So I think the clubs always have to do it. Just, and of course there are sorry. players with a certain ages that they have to see what happens. And, but I said, this is a, always have been like, a, I give my opinion, of course, but it's a question for a sporting directors. Would it be right to think you were consulted on whether, you know, Hugo's a good appointment just because I know you might not stay, but if you do, your relationship with Big Aristine and the, the transfers has been really important. So surely that relationship, you know, how you would work with Hugo in, fi in theory. So w did you have much of a say? You must have discussed it, surely. No, I, I think in my opinion, yeah. Many things I give my opinion, but the club, 
So the best way, you know, I have an opinion, but because I see, but the sporting director from the stands always have an opinion as well, and see, seem important. So we try to do now because I'm a manager, I decide, or you are a sport, I decide. We try to do to understand why it's good or not. We doubt a lot. We doubt a lot. We talk a lot about what is what is the best. And in all the sport directors, all the managers, all the clubs, you make a good decisions and always you make a bad decisions. Nobody is safe about that. Nobody. Because it depends of many factors why your player can suit, you know, good in, in a good position. So, but I said many times. So, I think that even the players feel it. So, the club is well run. You know, structure is good, and and the solid clubs not depend for one figure or another figure. When the club is strong, it doesn't matter because. Otherwise, we'll not be good. <laughs> Ask we do one each for Michael Simon and Neil, please, to get through you all. Just on that, have you spoken to Hugo in the last since no. the appointment was made? And do you know him personally? Have you no. had much contact over the years? Cheeky club. It means I get a second question, and that was a short one. Um, <laughs> just on the the injuries, then, um, are you the last couple of games you've only had a the last match you only had seven substitutes. The last couple of games you had two goalkeepers on the bench. Are you in any way concerned about the numbers that you're currently working with at the moment? No, yeah. For one game, two games is fine. For a long game, maybe three days. Now I have a tough period after the game. We have four days, but after three days to Bournemouth, now how difficult and demanding is. Go to Lisbon three days, and after come back three days, go to Brighton. So with just 14, 15 players, yeah, of course I am. But I said last season, so it would be easy. One team who have won four in a row. There is a challenge. So every season there are difficulties. We had in the past with important players in general seasons like this season. Unfortunately with Rodri. So, but that's what it is. Perfect scenario never, never exists in sport, never ever. Um, are you hoping to have Jack or Jeremy back before the international break? Jack, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, Jack, I hope so, but uh, Jeremy, I don't think so. And were they picked up in the Wolves game or just in training? Uh, Jack was in the training the day after, in one action, and Jeremy, I think, was Wolves. Neil, to finish, please, go. Um, Pep, you talked about the, the structure here, which you've been ticky. Sorry. You and Chiki have been um, big in creating the structure here. Do you feel that structure is strong enough that even if you weren't here next season and he wasn't, he's not going to be here, that's in place for success to still continue? Yeah. Because they will find, if it's going bad, they will find a solution immediately. They will find, they will react, they will be patient, they will be calm, and they will know what they have to do. Yeah, absolutely. I don't have any doubts about it. Zero doubts. And that was always the idea to build something that would go on for a long time, even but after that you. But that is normal. When it happened for a long time, for the cheeky 12 years, or me, my case, in our case, it's normal. It looks like, oh, we cannot live without that. Of course we can live. Life is move on. The earth, it continue around. <laughs> so. Who? I know that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well. Maybe it was, I don't know. But it's pretty sure that it's going to happen, sure, because um, I, I know how it works. So it will be a, a bad, bad sign for the club if uh, for just one or two person, one player leave or left, and after everything, everything is tracked fell down. I, I'm, listen, it's going to happen, for sure. So because maybe I can make a mistake, but they, during the mistakes, they are going to solve it. The mistake will be solved immediately. That's for sure, because. Uh, the, the guys knows exactly the hierarchy, the guys know exactly what they have to do. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.